Hey folks, welcome back for another day of aviation restoration with my 1979 Aerostar 601P that's been sitting in a hangar for 17 years. Not this one, the cold one over there. I have here a new battery that's going in. This is a very uh, special battery because it's a sealed battery. No venting needed for this one. Um, so we're gonna go throw this in the tail and take it from there. So in the Aerostar, the battery is right in the tail. So here you see I have the tail off. And if we climb up the ladder here, and we can see, oh, there's the battery. It's an interesting thing with the Aerostar, they put it in probably the most rare most part of the airplane possible. You can see how far back that is. And it does mess with the center of gravity uh, a bit, as I understand it, if your plane is full fuel, and only a single person, the pilot, in the left seat, you will have some COG issues, so you have to put some ballast in the other seat. Uh, but we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna pull this out, and when that's done, uh, disconnect the vent line that's back there, and get it all prepped for a new sealed battery that I'm putting in. Uh, so give me a moment, and we'll get going. Hold rubber. Uh, unfortunately, I feel like I'm going to have to take this down to get access to that properly. So let's do that. Just going to take this whole thing off. All right, now I have room to maneuver here at least. Let's try this again. To the ground. Yeah. Now it's messing that, I think. Hey, this thing looks like it's going to take up all the space that's available in here. Okay. Let's find out. I see now why they have a STC for an install kit. Well, I guess the install kit's not this, it has the STC, but there's an install kit because this is much different profile than the gill battery that came out of here. All right. That's great. So this plate goes between the handle and over the two metal clamps. And you take these and just put this one on next. All right, now we got two power cables. Take the caps off. There's one, there's two. All right, so quick update. I need a torque wrench. I do not have a torque wrench. So I'm gonna leave this as is right here, run to the hardware store, pick up a torque wrench, and come back so I can finish the installation of this battery. See you soon. A few minutes later. That's what a thousand dollar battery looks like. Some rubber nipples are in order to replace these broken ones. We'll install those soon. Please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you next time.